All right, so the last thing I want to do is create sort of a more freeform system um, with the panels that we've been working on. Um, we've created some materials like a perforated metal material and a mesh material and then this one which is pretty much made out of chain link. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my level one and I'm just going to go to the architecture wall, wall architectural, and I'm going to create an exterior glazing or actually a curtain wall one because a curtain wall one is a blank slate it's a panel that I can create different divisions of um, using curtain wall grids and so I'm going to left click and I'm going to come over here and I'm going <clears> to <throat> let's go ahead and post it to level two and I'll left click here and draw that wall in and if I go to my 3d view right you'll see there's that wall now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this wall into sort of a unique pattern and because this one does not have a system applied to it like these two do it will allow me to come in and divide this up as sort of as I wish it's orthogonal but if I go to curtain grid in the architecture tab and I hover over either the horizontal or vertical it will go in and it will start to divide panels for me. I can also tell it to do one segment so if I just go in and pick these it will divide that up for me as I wish right so now basically what I have is a series of divided panels that are not on this system but that I have control over now I can actually tab in and because this is not on a system these panels are not pinned I can come in and pick the different options um, for the panel. So I have a perforated and a mesh panel, right? So if I go to mesh panel, it'll put that mesh panel in. If I come in and pick this one, I could go in and put my metal perforated in. So now I have different types of panels. You can also actually place wall types in here. So I could come up and I could say, oh, I want this to be a brick or a CMU wall or a concrete wall. So if I do a generic four inch brick, it'll come in and put a brick wall in there for me, right? Based on the properties of that brick wall. Now I can do the same thing for these curtain wall grids. Um, I can change those to different types of panels. So, or different types of mullions. So in the architecture, there's a mullion option and I can click mullion and I can pick the mullion that I would like to use. So here's my rectangular mesh mullion. And if I pick, it will just place that mullion in where I pick. And then I can come in and I can pick the two and a half by five inch one and place it, you know, where I would like it. So now I can come in and sort of customize this system. So again, if I go in and pick, and you can make of course, so if I wanted one inch square here, smaller ones, right, it will go in and create those for me, right? You'll see that it creates a division there. It actually cuts out that, that mullion. So you can go in and actually create sort of these custom, if I can get that panel, there it is, and we'll just put in a, a perforated metal panel, right? Or maybe you just want one that's blank, so you don't want any panel in there. So you can come in and say system panel empty, right? And now that's an empty panel. So you have all sorts of options once you begin to create sort of your kit of parts to do that. Okay. All right. So I think that's enough for custom curtain wall systems.